Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. With me in studio this morning is Patricia Benedict, and she wants to update you all on Anderson Collins and Curtis Maloney. Curtis is a bailiff that um, Patricia provided me a video while he was at a place, Bean and Bagels. You, you, I'm sure you remember those videos. So I think that um, what happened between her and Curtis or his or his occupant, the occupant of his car, it stemmed from that particular event. But I'll let Patricia explain it to you. She's first going to talk about yes. Anderson Collins. Patricia, welcome into the studio. Yes, it's really good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, on the 18th, which was yesterday of April 2024, between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., I was doing my bottle rounds. Um, people don't know. People who don't know, I collect, I do recycling. I take plastic bottles, cokes, whatever, and hard bottles. And I and I was in Banyan Road in Santa Cruz. I heard someone saying, "You go from around here, move in this area," and I realized it was Anderson calling. He le excuse me. He left the bottom of the road and came halfway towards me. He told me he would commit um, violence and well, he, you know, he would um, he said, you know, what 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 was the word right word to use? Yeah, what he, to use? Yeah, he used threatening language towards you. Yeah, he said, he said threatening language towards me, and um, he told me I have him in court, mm -hmm. and he um. And he, uh, last time he went to prison was in 2021. And he's not afraid to go back. And I tried getting his girl in trouble, which is the property manager, Santa Cruz property owners, in my property manager. Mm -hmm. So he refers to her and as he, his girl? My girl, yeah. Okay. So he, he um, almost every morning, they meet in like a hibiscus. Cause he doesn't, he's the only person that doesn't have a phone. So he meets like high, behind Marcy, that stretch of road, mm -hmm. and the second right turn, <laughs> I can't remember the name of the road, but um, they meet around there ever, after nine, almost every time. So she instructs him what to do, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. She right. instructs him what to do. Right. So I I want him to have it, um, but it's the continuous lawless let of, of the magistrates and the police, you know, protecting him. That's the problem we have in Barbados. And now we have in the World Cup. What message are we sending out? You understand? Yes. So and I'm, I'm going to speak about, you know, and it's sad, it's sad. So I'm going to speak about now, Mr. Curtis Maloney. He is a bailiff, a, 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 um, alleged paralegal. The same 18th, everybody came after me yesterday. 18th of, of April 2024, 10 a.m. Between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m., I was walking in KFC on KFC Main Road, as in Wilde. That's on the Christchurch or South. I don't know if it's Christchurch. There were lots of traffic, and I heard someone say it was a very threatening word to me. You could probably later. So I went back, Miss Renica, and the person rolled up the window. They looked like a boy, but the person just had out a woman, but she had a boyish haircut. Mm -hmm. And she rolled up the window. But then I saw the, in, the gentleman roll it back down. And then it was Curtis Maloney. Now. He, he was the driver? Was he the driver of the car? He was the driver okay. of, the, um, of the vehicle. Okay. And. Um, he said, um, he said to me, um, I said, oh, I said, oh, it's you, at this. He said to me, oh, you will soon get arrested. Um, and, um, this is why I came to you too, because I have known what they've been doing for years, Miss Veronica. And when someone says that to you, you know, I've been unlawfully arrested about four or five times. Right, right. By those individuals altogether. Yeah. All of them in together, magistrates and stuff, and judges and all of them together. Because allegedly, Curtis Maloney works with um, um, Chief Justice Patterson Chatterdam. Yes. Allegedly. So, and he's the same one that got tried to get um, Ben and Bagel evicted 
Um, also, they had allegedly a three month lease left on the uh, three month lease left. So he's upset with me about that. Right. Now, why I came to you, right? It's when someone says to you, "You will soon get arrested, Miss Veronica," and I know what has happened to me in my past. Mm -hmm. I came to you because I want everybody to know Benedict will never get herself in trouble. They would have to manufacture something right. to have me in that position. You understand? Yes. And he's the also the, the uh, he's the one, Miss Veronica, too, that lied on a stand. He um with um Michael Omario Reed, my, my ex landlord at number twenty two Murray Court, Harry Park. He lied on the stand when he said he should have had a document saying that he served me personally. Mm -hmm. And because I had put out you know I had put out stuff to show you that he did not. Right. He went on the stand and said, oh, he didn't serve me personally. Although he had documented, I have a document saying so he did. Um, he didn't serve me personally. Um, he gave it to somebody. That makes sense to you? No. So which means he lied on the stand. And I said to, I brought it to Mr. Magistrate. It was Wayne Clark's attention. He lied on the stand. You know what Mr. Wayne Clark told him to do? You can leave. Mm. <clears throat> They didn't have an obstruction for, for whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And that's the kind of lawlessness World Cup coming, and that's, that's what people are looking at. You mentioned that, you know I mentioned World Cup. I know I mentioned World Cup. But what, 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 what does World Cup coming have to do with any crime in Barbados? Because, because there are certain people monitoring a gang going to detail. Yeah, but I mean, they, they could have monitored because to the... Wait, the let me finish. I, I give for security. Yeah, but, but they... What? One second. I'm saying mm -hmm. that, that crime is being committed in Barbados daily and if they were monitoring and it was it was important enough for them to cancel or not have the World Cup there, it would, that would have happened. But the, the World Cup is in Barbados. It's, it's happening. Uh, but no, now I have a special person in there that, that's yeah, up front. Everything I send to big voice notes and everything else they get. But what does that have to do with extent, work up? What's it have to do with work up? see the extent of what is going on. But World Cup is still in Barbados. World Cup is yes, in Barbados. Yes, even if it's Barbados, you think they cannot give the they, 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 they advice they, 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 um, the people from the different countries to, 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 to be careful in Barbados? Oh, no, 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 that's not, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. But that's what I'm trying to say to you. No, 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 let me try, let me tell you. Let me, let me tell you. You see things going on. You are supposed to, I can't go into details, but I know. But you going, you rolling a big event like a World Cup, and you, you cannot control certain little things that are going on in Barbados, then how would you, able when when all those people come in how will i how are you able i'm, I'm gonna tell you to, something to now security? I, i'm gonna tell you something now any anyone the the barbados police service think is going to be a problem they're going to be in a holding cell during during world cup i'm telling you that i'm not asking i'm telling you that they no, will be they will be in the holding cell to me, when it comes to the security part oh, I, I, you are in, in england i know no, i'm the states, no disrespect to you, right? No disrespect to you, no disrespect to you, but you are in the states. If you have certain people that, that work for the police still out and they're not doing anything about them, what would happen when World Cup comes? But, the but they're not worried about those people on World Cup. I'm, I'm saying to you, what I'm saying to you is, anyone, listen to me for one moment anyone that the police feel would be a threat to anyone coming to world cup or the crowd or whatever i'm gu i'm guaranteeing you that those people are not going to be on the street i'm guaranteeing you there's no argument i made a statement you do not know if you know the extent of what's going on in Barbados and what Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I'm saying yes. I I understand what you don't get. Don't get me wrong, Patricia. I understand what you're saying. But what I am saying is, if if the police think that a certain a certain person could be a problem, that person's going to be off the street. If the police think that. Okay. Okay. The police and rights. If if you have seventy percent of the police officers taking instructions. 
instructions from some from the deputy commissioners what do you expect and it's bad what do you expect i expect that they're not worried uh, no no uh, but anyway i i can't go into details who the person is but but you know they have to clean up now if they haven't cleaned up now they have to clean up now because nobody can come to Barbados and try to train people well what, this is what to look for and this is what that to look for and then to see that the same things they are coming here probably to train the, the people to what to look for when it comes to what they're doing mm. you know, so uh, uh, yeah but, but the, the way I say this if Jesus now were to come down from a cloud and land in Barbados you, you think what, 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 what do you think is going to happen what do you think is going to happen please no no Nothing. You don't know. You don't know. I see this. That, this that part I can't tell you. <laughs> that was a bad. That was a bad example. No, that was a bad. That was a bad example. Yeah, that was a bad example. That was. That was. That was a real bad example on my part. I put. I put. I'm gonna pull it back right now. <laughs> if you came out from a cloud, they'll probably listen. But if you were to appear and they didn't know it was Jesus, let's say they didn't know it was Jesus, it'd be, you know, it'd be over for Jesus. It'd be over for Jesus. But yeah, that was a bad. That was a so poor the example. Prime, the prime minister, <laughs> the prime minister, the commissioner now, mm -hmm. after they know who <laughs> is is monitoring that so closely, I can't give you details. They have no choice but to act, really, really act, because it will make them, and that person is a, a top person, it will make them look bad. Yeah, so they're going to so, act then. They will act, because they don't want to look bad. They, they do. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. They won't have, they won't want to act I reveal who, you know. No, they won't want that, Mr. Renica. But that is. But, you know, and that's the continuous lawlessness of, of Curtis Maloney and those people, where I'm coming back to him. You see, and, and and those people were allowed to have just people arrested. Even right. that guy, that's another story. The guy number six. Yeah, yeah. Let's leave. Let's leave that. Let's leave, leave, leave that as a. Wait, no, no, no. Yeah. When he said, "I will have you arrested." Yeah, but let's leave that as another story. Right. Right. That happens right. in Barbados. Right. And it's to stop. Right. So. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. This is Sherry Veronica, Naked Departure Radio. Okay. Sorry. Help me spread the word about Naked Departure via social media. Subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels.